welcome to Scale Car Garage. Well, we're back at the workbench here because we're going to be working on the chassis for the Cobra Daytona Coupe and the Ferrari 250 GTO. So uh, let's get right to it on Scale Car Garage. Okay, so I wanted to show you how I make uh, uh, my guide blade holders for the scratch-built cars that I use. And it's really simple. It's basically a, a brass tube soldered into a brass plate that has a hole punched uh, through it and for the right size. But um, I also wanted to show you the guides that I use. And these are uh, made by uh, TSRF. I don't know if they're still available, but they're wonderful guide blades. They're made of nylon. They have this little T on the back. Hopefully you can you can see that. Um, that if you wanted to use uh, an elastic band on your chassis to sort of self-center the guide blade, that's, that's what that's for. It's kind of an old school design. I'm not quite sure whose old school design it is, but my goodness, they're great, great um, guide blades. Uh, perfect uh, depth for a Carrera track, certainly for a routed track. And uh, I imagine they would work well with uh, other tracks as well, uh, Skelectrix, um, you know, Arten, uh, Ravel, I'm sure. Um, anyway, let me show you how we get this to work on our slot, uh, our <laughs> scratch built slot cars. <laughs> I'm getting all excited, really want to show you this. So uh, here we go. Okay, so uh, here is the guide blade, as you can see. Here we have, uh, we're going to need vernier calipers. And since we're doing two chassis, uh, here's the Ferrari and there is the uh, Cobra Daytona Coupe, we're going to need two guide blades. We're going to need, uh, of course, brushes, pickup brushes, vernier calipers, and we're going to need some sheet brass. Okay, and this sheet brass actually uh, comes in the correct width. I have actually sort of uh, measured this, and what I need is a width of, um, let's see here, da, 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 of uh, well, 2.1, which is what, an, almost, almost an inch? Not quite. Yeah, there we go, there we go. So we've got uh, 2.1 centimeters. So this is actually a width of, let's see here, ooh, 1.9, but as you can see, it fits perfectly within the, uh, if you see that, fits perfectly within the um, rails. So we just have to cut it to uh, the right dimensions, and we'll need two of them, and uh, we will take it from there. All right, so let's get to work, and let's take this and score a one centimeter line. And there we go, a one centimeter line. All the way across here. There we go, razor saw. And I'm gonna cut a length of brass sheet. Alrighty, so there is the first piece cut. And we'll have to do a little bit of cleanup on it. Now we have to cut one more. I just wanted to show you how this would fit, like so. Perfect. There we go. All right, first one. One more to go. So let's do our measurements. Remember, take your time. There's no rush, but uh, as soon as you start along the line, just keep working. Filing there. And there we go. It's sitting flat. It's sitting pretty flat. Oh, got a little bit of a high point there. So there we are. We have one two, three plates. Now what we have to do is uh, make sure that we find the exact center for each of these plates and punch a hole. So that's what we'll do next. 
Using the vernier calipers, I scribed a midline for the width and length for each of the brass plates that I cut. I then placed the tip of a scratch awl on the point at which these two lines intersected, which is the center of the plate. Using a hammer, I gave the scratch awl a light tap to create a dimple in the brass plate. This dimple will be used to locate the center for the male die of the hand punch, which will be used to create the hole in the plate. The center of the male die has a small bump that fits right into the dimple and makes it easy to locate the exact location for the hole to be punched in the plate. Here's the first punched plate test fit to a chassis. The other two plates were punched, and now all three plates have a hole. The shaft of the TSRF guide was measured, and then this length was scribed on the brass tube that will become the holder for the guide. The correct length of brass tube was then cut using a razor saw, and then test fit to one of the brass plates to ensure that all fit well. Now that all of the parts have been fabricated, it was time to prepare them for assembly. All of the parts were prepped for soldering using a file. Flux was applied to the brass tubes and inserted into the brass plates. Lengths of solder were cut and placed at the base of each tube where the tube and plate intersect. Then, using a torch, the brass tube was soldered to the brass plate. After proper preparation of the chassis, it's time to solder the guide holders to the chassis. I also soldered the body mounting plates to each chassis. Here are the chassis for the Cobra Daytona Coupe and Ferrari 250 GTO as we take them closer to being on track. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.